Hey guys, so the uh, next job is this Rover that I picked up yesterday and uh, I don't know anything about it I, other than the blades are good, it doesn't have any fuel in the tank, it's not an original purge or primer in this case and I was missing one of the bolts on the back, I don't know where I, I took the other one off or it fell off, I don't know where it's gone, I've got to find it to hold the handlebar in place but uh, yeah, let's just uh, see, well in fact that's one thing I didn't check actually is the oil. Of course it's terribly black but it's got oil and that's a good start it hasn't been run without how about we just stick some fuel in there and uh, see if it starts that's the first thing it's picking up fuel breaking up a little bit but that could just be that's been there on the side i think what i'd need to do is actually give it a proper run but uh no let's just give it a quick once over quick service blade sharp and balance air filter clean and uh see how we go take it for a run and and get it hot change the oil this is probably all that's needed for it i guess they threw it away maybe because it was missing that part it was a bit old and it's hard to tell why they threw it away yet but People don't generally just throw things away for the sake of throwing it away, so we've got to figure out what it is. All right, well, let's start off with uh, the air filter, see what the condition is. It can't be too bad. Besides, uh, uh, yeah, that's going to need to be replaced. It's falling apart. Uh, I'll see. Let me give it a quick wash. The actual filter element in most of the places isn't falling apart, so... I think I'm going to reuse it. I want to sell this one cheap, so I don't want to start investing unnecessarily. So I'll give that a dry and that'll be fine. I'm just putting new fuel in there. I just want to see if it's kicked up any dirt or rim and let's just see the condition of it. The tank looks clean. It really doesn't look bad at all. Nothing wrong there. after i must be honest I, I really do looking in here i don't see any issues i will just check the coil resistance because when they get hot they can start to fail 0.3 ohms 2.8 yeah that's fine okay let's see a look at the valves again if when they get hot you might tend to find that they uh, can cause you running issues if they're not set correctly there's literally no clearance there at all None. That needs to come out. I'll take that. Yep, I'll take that. I'm not even going to move that, I don't think. Right, let's get that valve out. I would like to decarbon this head. However, the head gasket's on there and uh, no, not anymore. <laughs> I want to get rid of all of this crud. So uh, I'm going to clean that up first before I start taking the valves out. I'd like to get this off too. Pretty good. I'm just going to give it a spray off with some brake cleaner. I don't really want that to go on the paint, so we'll just put that down there. And I'm just going to go flatten this quick, make sure it's nice and flat before I put it back together. I'll put that on some uh, abrasive paper. Got low 
groove spots around here. And that was a high spot there, high spot there. Head's flattened, I'd say 98% there. There's a tiny, tiny low spot there and a tiny, it's so small, it's not even worth it. I'm not gonna, I just run out of that last piece of sandpaper, the abrasiveness of it. So that is absolutely more than fine. We'll take that intake valve off, which is not reading correctly. Get under there. The intake's the one we want. Give them a squeeze. Need to get the little magnet in there. There we go, got it out. Seal sealing really nice, there's a nice, uh, a nice seal all the way around. So I'm just gonna, that one's already been in here, I think, or not? Uh, maybe not actually. Well, maybe, we'll see. I'm just going to give that a quick touch, give us a bit of clearance and we'll check see what it is. So there we have it. I've dropped it down and I've also gone around the edge. We'll just see what clearance we've got at the moment. Make sure there's no debris. I'm not going to start removing the carbon and any of that. It's just a quick valve adjustment. That's all that we're going to be doing. All right, feeler gauge. That's got nice drag on it. So we are good and that was the first time. One thing I didn't even check actually was the seat. Just checking for any burning or anything, seeing if it's been held open. Actually, uh, it doesn't look too bad. And in fact, it looks really good. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, okay, I couldn't resist a sneaky look at the exhaust. And actually, it could probably do with a bit of a lap to be fair. Let's just see if it spins. Actually, you know what? That is spinning. Let me just do it. Let me just lap it quick. There, just get the job done. All right, just a little bit of valve lapping compound. Just a small, small amount. It's a bit awkward doing it this, this angle. That's better. Now we've got a nice ring. Okay, good. Look at that. Perfect. Good. Well, I was just putting the HT lead back on. I'd noticed there was this paper around it. Tape. And then I had a closer look at the HT lead, and I can see that actually it's really damaged. I don't think it's actually hit the wire yet. So what I'm going to do is pop sealant into there, which I've just cleaned out. A bit of Durco. And then a bit of Durco on the other side. I'm gonna let that sit, cure, and then I'll add some tape around, then I'll put it together. It will take about, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes for that to go nice and snug. Not nice and snug, go nice and dry, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, well, here we are. I've given it a once over with a bit of oil and actually it was a bit of engine oil, but uh, it's come up quite nice. So let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. I've got the tack out. We'll just see what the tack says. Uh, full throttle, full throttle, couple of pumps. Make sure my fingers dry.
right guys well that's job done and it's up for sale i'm in a bit of a two minds really i initially thought oh it's a bit rough it's a bit ugly and and then i kind of think well you know it is old but it runs beautifully and it's been fully serviced but uh, you know it's a bit rough around there and a bit rough around there and there's some oil and dirt you know it, from a distance looks new when you get a bit closer you can start to see the the, the see its age i guess is the way of putting it but uh no, i can't complain it starts runs cuts beautifully starts first time every time and it's so it's full service all changed and uh blade sharp and balanced air filter clean what more can you really ask for? So anyway, I popped it up. We'll see how it goes. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Another uh, lawnmower. That's two lawnmowers back to back. I'm not a big lawnmower person. But uh, there it is. Job done. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you soon.